gears drivers calculating gear ratios. Need help? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Design and Technology On Demand. My name is Charlotte and I make weekly videos helping you to succeed in your design and technology GCSE. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. What is a gear train? A gear train is made of a system of toothed wheels known as gears. This works by transferring a motion from one gear to another. Having the teeth around the circumference of the wheel allows the gears to perfectly interlock to each other. As one gear moves in a rotary motion, it interlocks into its neighboring gear. Okay, so let's see what happens if we have different sizes of gears. The smaller wheel turns more quickly but with less force while the bigger one turns more slowly with more force see when you turn the big gear one way the little gear turns in the other since it takes less energy to turn the big gear slowly than it would to turn the little one quickly you are saving energy and making work easier by using gears a good example for us to be able to link this information to would be a hand whisk as you turn the handle of the hand whisk a large double-sided gear drives two smaller gears to rotate in the opposite direction the driver gear is a slow rotation where the driven gears are rotating much faster. This is ideal for the person using the whisk as they don't have to use that much energy as the gears convert a slow rotation into faster rotation. When two or more gears are connected, it is called a gear train. So a simple gear train would look something like gear that turns is called the driver. The driver gear then rotates and moves the driven gear. Sometimes there'll be several gears in between the driver and the driven. Those are called idlers. The job of the idler gear is to change the direction of the driven gear. Without the idler gear, the driver gear goes in a clockwise direction, cause the driven gear to rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. If we add the idler gear, the gear is now going anti-clockwise. The driven gear is able to go clockwise in the same direction as the driver. So what are some examples of some gear trains in real life? Some everyday examples would be bicycles, clocks, children's toys, and a tin opener. So how do you calculate the gear ratio? You just count the number of teeth of the two gears and then divide them by themselves. For example, the driver gear has 15 teeth and the driven gear has 45 teeth. For each rotation, the driver gear will rotate three times more than the driven gear. See, the driver in this case has to go faster and the driven gear is slower. A simple formula is to remember is dividing the number of teeth of the driving gear by the number of teeth in the driven gear. In this case, 15 teeth divided by 45 equals 3. The gear ratio will be 3 over 1. 3 turns of the driver gear to 1 turn of the driven gear. This is known as gearing down. Gearing down means the driven gear goes slower than the driving gear. So let's do this again, but this time let's have the driver gear to have 75 teeth and the driven gear to have 15. That will be 75 divided by 15, which will equal 5. The gear ratio would be 1 to 5. One turn of the driver to five turns of the driven gear. This is also known as gearing up. Gearing up is when the driven gear goes faster than the driver gear. Let's quickly recap everything from this video. A gear train consists of two or more tooth wheels known as gears. There is a driver gear and a driven gear. In a simple gear train, the driver gear rotates in the opposite direction of the driven gear. The job of the idler gear is to change the direction of the rotation. For example, if the driver gear is rotating in a clockwise and the driven gear is going in an anti-clockwise, if you put the idler gear in the middle, now that one is going in the anti-clockwise, allowing the driven gear to go in the same direction as the driver gear. To calculate gear ratios, you count the teeth on both gears and divide them by themselves. Gearing down is when the driven gear goes slower than the driving gear. Gearing up is when the driven gear goes faster than the driving gear. Let's see if you understood the information from this video. What is the job of the idler gear? Make sure you put your answers in the comment box below. Thank you for watching this video and you've got this exam. Just make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on your notifications. You're well on your way to achieving that level nine grade. If you haven't already, check out my other videos that are linked in the description box below. See you in the next video.